back. So Doctor Who is a very, very popular show with fans all over the world. And that fan base is about to get a whole lot bigger because it's now part of HBO's new streaming service, HBO Max. Now, I'm a huge fan of the show and I wanted to do something to celebrate this. So we put out a challenge to Doctor Who fans less than 24 hours ago to see if they could create a Doctor Who cosplay using only objects from around their homes. And we're about to judge those costumes. This is Who from Who Are You? Who from Who Are You? So we've got our six contestants here. Hey everybody, how are you doing? Hi. How's it going? Now, thank you so much for, for coming to be part of the show. Now, everybody here, you're all huge Doctor Who fans, right? Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. And we yeah. only put this up 24 hours ago. And when you saw this, you thought, I can immediately recreate a Doctor Who costume with stuff around my house. I immediately yeah. stopped working. Did you really, Catherine? Was there not a cut. doubt in your mind? <laughs> didn't even get out of my office chair and I saw my inspiration. <laughs> Jennifer, are you sitting in front of a TARDIS? I am. It's a Murphy bed. So it's oh, bigger on the inside. My goodness. Well, this is so much fun. Now, I'm really, really excited to see all of your costumes. We all are. But here's the thing. I, I sort of thought, I mean, I can't really judge this contest on my own. And, and who better to judge such a contest than two of the doctors themselves. Please welcome David Tennant no. and Jody Whistler, <laughs> who are here. There they are. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. How's it going? Hi. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I'm doctor. <laughs> Hi gang. Dave looks like he's gonna explode. Now I love this. Jody and David, you've Gone, talk about going the extra mile. Have you just gone and put on your actual Doctor Who costumes? Oh, yeah. I heard the word oh, yeah. competition. Competition, and I was out the door. David, when was the last time you wore your Doctor Who it's costume? It's been quite a little while, as I just realised as I was struggling into it. It all still fits, thankfully, even, <laughs> even after lockdown. Well, look, you're in your costumes. So Jennifer, Dave, Andrew, Naomi, Catherine, Nate, you go and get into your costumes. Okay, so you head out and do that. Jody, David, how are you going to approach this as judges? Are you going to be harsh or do you think you're always going to be fair? I'm, I'm, I'm going to be good, cop. I'm going to be ruthless. <laughs> ruthless. Okay, all of these cosplays were, were, were made in less than 24 hours. First up, we're going to go to Jennifer, who has chosen a Cyberman. Now, here's what the Cyberman looks like on the show. And this is Jennifer's homemade Cyberman. Oh, wow. Oh, yes. Wow. Yes. Strong start. Very strong start. Very strong start. Jennifer, this is good. It's extremely good. And actually, I, as you know, as people may know, Doctor Who's been around for a long time. When the Cyberman first appeared way back in the 60s, that was exactly what they looked like. <laughs> now, Jennifer, can you talk while you're wearing this? I can. Okay. Can, I've got some questions. Jennifer, do you live alone? I do not. <laughs> you don't. So no. what do the other people you live with, what are they thinking as you're walking around grabbing a fan, foil and headphones and seeing if they can all fit on your head at the same time? <laughs> they think that's par for the course. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jennifer. Let's see what's well, next. Our next character is oh. Face of Bo. Okay, so here we have Face of Bo. This one was done by Dave. Let's see how Dave did. <laughs> okay. Dave. It's, yeah. Hey, how's it going? Good. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's go on, Jody. It's simple, simple but effective. Think this through, so I'm kind of suffocating in here. <laughs> Tell you what, you're... Jody, any thoughts on Dave's costume? I thought what really stood out for me was the very powerful facial expression you you pulled, and and even though it was a bit a bit you know hidden behind the plastic box, I felt it. Yeah, I think we all agree. 
We all agree. Okay, thank you so much, Dave. Let's see who's next. Next up, we've got an oud. I love a good oud. Okay, now this one, <laughs> I should say, we when we made when we put this out to people saying we're doing a Doctor Who competition, one of our Late Late Show staffers, Andrew, is a huge fan of Doctor Who and demanded that he be part of the challenge. And we said, well, you've got to guarantee you're going to try with a good costume. Here's Andrew's Oud. <laughs> wow. Oh. <laughs> that's well oh, wow. done, Andrew. Oh, that's... Wait, what, what is... <laughs> ah. Is that a glove on your head, Andrew? Yes. <laughs> Well, I think it's very a sterling strong. effort. David, you've gone with very strong. I think it's very strong, yeah. I it's like something it. Slightly, yeah. There's I like it very much. Beaker from the Muppets about it, which I like. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Andrew. That's wonderful. Next up, we have probably the most iconic Doctor Who villain, a Dalek. We're going to go to... There's a Dalek there. We're going to go to Naomi, who tried this at home. Let's see Naomi's Dalek. Oh, oh wow. Naomi. Wow. Positively terrifying. <laughs> yeah, I just need a blanket, a pot, a uh, plunger, and a whisk. And then we can it. see that, Naomi. You don't need to break it down. <laughs> <laughs> and Naomi, will you just give us an, a, a, a Doctor Who, ex, a Dalek exterminate? Exterminate! <laughs> Very good, Naomi. Thank you very, very much. There was literally <laughs> minutes of work went into that. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we have a Cloister Wraith. Okay, Ooh. the Cloister Ooh. Wraith. Not an easy costume to choose. Ooh. I'm interested to see this. Catherine tried this one out. Let's go to Catherine's Cloister Wraith. Oh, very good. Oh, that's clever. Oh. Very strong. Catherine, yes. is, that, is that an iPad? Yeah. <laughs> it's puppetry. It's an iPad and a rug and some spray paint and cardboard. <laughs> now, Catherine, am I right in thinking you, you so wanted to be part of this challenge, you didn't even let the fact that you had surgery this morning keep you out of it? Yeah, yep. <laughs> Yeah, I just um, got home uh, and about an hour and a half ago um, from surgery, so... Are you feeling okay? Yeah. Uh, I'm a little tired, but uh, okay. Wow. This was definitely worth it, so... Look at sure. that. <laughs> the power of the doctor. So just give it to us front on one more time. A good That is a good solid cloister wraith. Jodie, nice. what do you think? Yeah, I mean, A star for effort. It certainly puts Naomi's Dalek in perspective. That's what I that's yeah. what I think. Thank you so much, Catherine. We are now gonna go. We've got one here yeah. of a Kasavin. Here's a Kasavin here, and this one is also from someone on our staff. This is one of our writers, Nate. This is a Kasavin. I'm interested to see what Nate's gone for. Let's see Nate's Kasav. Okay. Oh Nate. Nate. Oh, you've let yourself down. You've let the show down. I think this is how they did it on the show. How rude. <laughs> Nate, I, you, you told us, you said, I'm really going to go for this. We had the same chat we had with you as we did with Andrew. Andrew has shown effort. You have literally turned on a torch on your phone. What about, hold on. How about that? It's actually yeah, made it's it like worse. Who's gone fishing? Yeah. Now you just look like you've lost your keys on the way home from a festival. It's like Blair Witch <laughs> Project. <laughs> well, thank you, Nate, for your dedication and effort into the Kasavin. Uh, now that is everybody, Jody and David. So there's our costumes. We have Jennifer, Dave, Andrew, Naomi, Catherine, and Nate. It's all up to you now, Jody and David. Who? do you think had the best cosplay? There's a lot of good work there. Mm. And yeah. some, you know, a little bit more basic. There's two strong contenders. Give us your strong contenders, Jodie. Jennifer and Catherine. I'm right behind you, Jodie. I think Jennifer and Catherine 
are at the head of the field. Yeah. So it's between it is, Jennifer... It is, it is a welcomed effort from everyone else, apart from Nate. <laughs> apart from Nate, yeah. Yeah, Nate aside, everybody's really tried their best here. <laughs> so here we go. It's between Jennifer and Catherine. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, the thing is, I've got to go for a, a sob story here. We've got someone who's standing up who probably should be sitting down, so maybe we should give them a medal. Well, the weight of Catherine's oh. is certainly something to think about. I think the fact that Jennifer has made her costume in front of a TARDIS no. is I mean, also... That's your commitment. Jodie, I want you to text David who you think it should be. And David, if you agree, count to three and say the name. Oh, OK, Jodie. OK. okay. Wait, well, why don't we disagree? Why don't no, we disagree? this is it. There can only be one winner, Jodie. David, do you agree with Jodie's response? I'm going to let you have it, Jodie. I think you're right. I think you're right. OK. Jody and David, it's time for a winner. Let's go. I'm going to count to three. One, two, three. Catherine. Catherine, the Cloister Wraith. Well done. Congratulations. Well done. I wish I could tell you you'd won some kind of prize. I don't think we have the budget at this time in the show, but what you can do as a prize is you will get to keep that costume forever. Yeah. Thank you so much, everybody. Take it for. Down. Yeah, you can take it down now, Catherine. You really can. Thank you all so much for playing along. You were absolutely brilliant. And thank you, David Tennant and Jodie Whittaker for helping us judge. That was Who From Who Are You? We'll be right back, everybody. <laughs> 